Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Kangaroo Notebook, which at first glance looks like an 11.6 inch laptop, and that's exactly what it is. It's just that a lot of the components of the laptop are actually running on a tiny card that looks like this. So the notebook itself has an 11.6 inch 1366 by 768 pixel display, a full-size keyboard, a battery, a couple of uh, USB ports, but the memory, storage, and operating system and processor are all on this little removable card which slots in right here. And when you buy a Kangaroo Notebook for $300, you get two of these cards. And so the idea is you sort of get two notebooks that share some hardware. So say you want to use it in your household, uh, you and your spouse or you and your kids can each have their own complete operating system environment, Windows 10 and everything on the card, and you just slot in whichever one you want to use at the time. Or you can imagine using it in education or in um, uh, business environments where and it'll come with two, but theoretically it's possible that you could buy extra modules and have one for everybody who needs them or have students share computers, you know, buy five computers and get 10 modules and have 10 separate uh, environments. It, uh, as I mentioned, sells for about $300 and it kind of has the specs that you would expect from maybe a $200 uh, Windows laptop. It's got an Intel Atom Cherry Braille processor, uh, two gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, although it's kind of double if you think about it. You've got 64 gigs because you got the two of them here. Uh, but this module system is really what makes it uh, stand out. The uh, keyboard is sort of a full-size keyboard. We've seen a lot of devices in this form factor uh, over the past couple of years. It's a nice wide touchpad. The display is not spectacular. It's a TN display that sort of washes out a little bit when you tilt it back. But it is theoretically possible that we could have higher quality versions with full HD displays or touchscreens or other things in the future. Uh, just at launch, they wanted to sort of go entry level. You can see here we've got USB 3.0 and 2.0 uh, power. And on this side, uh, not as much. There is a fair amount of ventilation here on the bottom. Uh, we've got uh, speakers and vents and uh, an SD card slot over here. And there's no ventilation or there's no fan at all on the, uh, the Kangaroo Mini itself. What we have here are vents to let the heat out. It's uh, passive. This whole thing weighs about less than two ounces. It's really spectacularly small. Um, but right back here is a fairly large uh, vent with a fan to blow out any of the heat that's coming from here. So it should prevent any sort of overheating. Kangaroo estimates you should be able to get around uh, five hours of battery life under normal operation here. And um, yeah, so that's the Kangaroo Notebook, which is uh, coming soon for about $300 for the Notebook and uh, two Kangaroo Mini PC modules. I forgot to mention the PC module. Well, it doesn't have HDMI or USB ports or anything else like that. It does have this little micro SD card slot. And uh, the folks at Kangaroo have previously put together this sort of kind of semi-modular uh, desktop system where you have a computer with a battery and uh, HDMI output and so forth, and it can work with a couple of different docking stations. And what they're telling me is that basically if you take the battery out of that, you wind up with a system that's about this small and which you can then use to, uh, to put into a notebook system. You'd need a really large notebook in order to use the original Kangaroo desktop style uh, module, so they went smaller with this one. Uh, again, if it sells well, we could see a whole ecosystem develop around it in the future. But for now, uh, I think really the appeal is if you want to buy a system that has two complete computing solutions on, uh, that share one set of hardware. So that's the Kangaroo Notebook. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.